Hi guys, welcome to Monocure 3D Pro Tips. Today we're going to discuss that thin piece of plastic at the bottom of your 3D printer's vat. That's right, the mysterious FEP sheet. Let's go. FEP, or fluorinated ethylene propylene, is a film that has very low surface tension so your models will be released from it during the printing process. It's designed to act the same way a non-stick frying pan would when cooking an egg. When your printer cures each layer, it is done directly against the FEP sheet. The curing resin can reach temperatures up to 70 degrees Celsius, and after a number of prints, you might notice the FEP starting to look cloudy. This can restrict the UV light and adversely affect the curing of each layer. You might notice the release properties are not as they used to be, and the parts are sticking to the bottom of the vat instead of the build plate. If this happens, the best way to avoid damaging the film is to use a plastic scraper or a glove fingernail to lift off the FEP. Never use anything metal or hard that may scratch or worse puncture that very delicate film. If the film is suffering from deep scratches, becoming cloudy or not releasing as it used to, or worst case has a puncture, then it's time to change it for a new one. This is a pretty simple process and is basically the same across all printers that use a vat with a FEP film. Ensure you clean the vat using resin away and rinse with some cold water. Remove each screw and the FEP will come out like this. Grab a FEP film. If it's one of ours, make sure you remove the plastic film on both sides before you start to install it. No need to punch holes for each screw as I've found the screw head is enough to do this job sufficiently. I like to pull the film and work from opposite sides until all the screws are in. Be careful not to punch the film with a screwdriver. I've done this many times and it's very annoying. It's important to make sure it's tight and should sound like a drum when tapped lightly with a finger. Now you're good to print again. Remember to re-level your build plate each time you change your FEP. We sell 100, 200 micron thicknesses for the smaller format printers and 150 micron thicknesses for the larger printers such as the Shuffle XL. The thickness is really personal choice. I like the 200 microns as they're a bit thicker and I'm pretty rough with mine. Some people believe that the detail is better if the FEP is thinner. I'm not a believer in that theory, sorry guys. Thanks for watching, please subscribe to all our social channels. Remember to send us feedback in the comments below or via email. And remember to keep on 3D printing.